Hello everyone and welcome to DNA Education. I am Himanshi and today we will be discussing the next topic of chapter Light Reflection and Refraction that is Image Formation in Lenses. In the last session we have discussed about concave and convex lenses. Now let us understand how different rays travel through lenses by following certain rules. These are the convex lenses and these are the concave lenses. The first rule for formation of ray diagram is that agar koi light ray focus se pass hokar aati hai then it will emerge parallel to principal axis. Similarly, in case of concave lens, if a light ray comes from focus, it will emerge parallel to principal axis. Conversely, if a light ray is parallel to principal axis, it will refract from focus. If the light ray is coming parallel to the principal axis in case of concave lens then it will diverge from focus that is yahan light ray diverge kar and it appears as if ye focus se diverge kar rahi hai the next is if a light ray falls on optical center then it will retrace its path without any deviation the same is in the case of concave lens so these are the three basic rules or we can say three rays which we can use for formation of images in lenses now let us consider the ray diagrams of convex lenses the first case is when object is placed at infinity us case mein hum light rays ko parallel consider karte hain and parallel light rays will converge at focus so you can see that a real inverted and point sized image is formed in this case next if object is placed beyond 2f then a parallel light ray will converge at focus and the light ray coming from focus will emerge parallel in this case the light rays are meeting between f2 and 2f2 and it is real inverted and diminished image the next case is when object is placed at 2f1 in this case the light coming parallel will come from focus and the one coming from optical center will go undeviated as you can see the light rays will meet at 2f2 the image formed is real inverted and of the same size as the object the next case is when object is placed between 2f1 and f1 again we can take a parallel light ray that emerges from focus and a light ray coming from focus that emerges parallel the light ray is meeting beyond 2f2 the image is real inverted and enlarged that is greater than the size of the object next case is when we place the object at focus in this case a parallel ray comes from focus and from optical center it will go undeviated now you can see ki ye dono light rays jo refract hokar aa rahe hain they are parallel to each other to agar hum inhe infinity tak bhi extend karte hain they will remain parallel and converse of case one as i have told you that agar light rays parallel hoti hain to object image will be formed at infinity and it will be a highly enlarged image the next case is when object is placed between f1 and optical center the parallel light ray will go from focus and the light ray from optical center will go undeviated now these two light rays are diverging so they will never meet at any point up until infinity so we will now produce the light rays on the other side of the object so we can see that here light rays are not actually meeting then it becomes the case of a virtual image so yahan par ye clear hai that the image formed is on the same side as the object it is virtual erect and enlarged that is larger in size than the object now comes the cases of concave lenses just like convex mirrors concave lenses have only two cases the first is when object is at infinity then the light rays will diverge appearing to diverge from focus so a virtual erect and point sized image will be formed on focus apart from that if image is placed anywhere on the principal axis in concave lens then one parallel light ray will diverge from focus and one ray from optical center will go undeviated as you can see that the light rays are diverging one is going in this direction and other is in this direction so these two emergent light rays will never intersect to so, agar hum ise 
प्रोड्यूस करते हैं पीछे तो एक वर्चुअल इरेक्ट एंड डिमिनिश्ड इमेज हमें मिलती है बिटवीन फोकस एंड ऑप्टिकल सेंटर सो इन केसेस ऑफ कॉन्वेक्स लेंसेज यू हैव सीन कि इमेज पॉइंट साइज है रियल इन्वर्टेड है एनलार्ज भी है वर्चुअल इरेक्ट भी है जस्ट लाइक कॉन्केव मिरर्स और कॉन्केव लेंसेज में इमेज हमेशा वर्चुअल इरेक्ट और डिमिनिश्ड है एंड इट इज फॉर्म्ड ऑलवेज बिटवीन फोकस एंड ऑप्टिकल सेंटर जस्ट लाइक द केसेज इन कॉन्वेक्स mirrors so these are the ray diagrams of lenses and now we have to study about the lens formula as we have understood that mirror formula as we have discussed in our last session that mirror formula is 1 upon f is equals to 1 upon v plus 1 upon u the lens formula just replaces the plus sign with minus sign and the formula becomes 1 by f is equals to 1 by u v minus 1 by u where f is the focal length of the lens v is the image distance and u is the object distance magnification also it is height of image upon height of object in case of mirrors we have studied that the formula is minus v by u but in case of lenses the formula for magnification becomes plus v by u now we have to see ki lenses mein hame kiski focal length positive leni hai negative leni hai image distance kaise lena hai object aur image ki heights positive negative kaise leni hai we again follow the cartesian rule और हमें लेंसेज को इस तरह से प्लेस करना है दैट द ओरिजिन को इनसाइड्स विद द ऑप्टिकल सेंटर ऑफ द लेंस अब अगेन जो भी क्वांटिटीज इस साइड और इस साइड है दे विल बिकम नेगेटिव और जो इस डायरेक्शन और इस डायरेक्शन में है दे विल बिकम पॉजिटिव सेम इज द केस विद कॉन्केव लेंस नाउ यू कैन सी कि जब कॉन्वेक्स लेंस होता है तो लाइट रेस जो पैरल आती हैं वो फोकस पर कन्वर्ज करती हैं दैट मीन्स फोकस ये वाला हमें कौन कंसिडर करना है फॉर कॉन्वेक्स लेंसेज एंड दिस इज पॉजिटिव एक्स एक्सेज देयर फोर फोकल लेंथ ऑफ कॉन्वेक्स लेंसेज इज पॉजिटिव इस केस में जब लाइट रेड आती है तो वो डाइवर्ज होती है एंड इट अपेयर्स टू डाइवर्ज फ्रॉम दिस फोकस इसीलिए कॉन्केव लेंसेज में हमें इस साइड का फोकस कंसिडर करना होता है विच इज नेगेटिव एक्स एक्सेज दैट्स वाई फोकल लेंथ ऑफ कॉन्केव लेंसेज इज नेगेटिव now based upon these sign conventions and lens formula let us consider an example of ncrt which is example 10.3 it states that there is a concave lens of focal length 15 cm and it is asking at what distance should object be placed so that image is at 10 cm from the lens so we have focal length 15 cm and minus sign because it is a concave lens image distance is given 10 cm in concave lens we have seen that image is always formed on the virtual axis that is negative x axis therefore v is taken as negative we have to calculate u we can simply put the values in the lens formula and remember that in lens formula we take this minus sign as the sign of the formula or agar koi quantity negative को साइन रखती है तो हमें उसे एज इट इज इसमें प्लेस करना है विदाउट डिस्टर्बिंग दिस माइनस साइन सो द आंसर कम्स आउट टू बी माइनस थर्टी सेंटीमीटर ना ऑब्जेक्ट डिस्टेंस देर इन ऑब्जेक्ट डिस्टेंस देर इज माइनस साइन माइनस साइन इंडिकेट्स दैट द ऑब्जेक्ट इज प्लेस ऑन नेगेटिव एक्स एक्सेस विच इज थियरेटिकली करेक्ट क्योंकि ऑब्जेक्ट को हमेशा हम लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ लेंस या मिरर प्लेस करते हैं और अब हमारे पास यू है वी है एंड इफ वी हैव टू फाइंड मैग्निफिकेशन वी कैन सिंपली पुट इमेज डिस्टेंस अपॉन ऑब्जेक्ट डिस्टेंस माइनस टेन एंड माइनस थर्टी रिमेंबर वी आर नॉट ओमिटिंग द माइनस एंड प्लस साइंस इन एनी केस एंड दिस कम्स आउट टू बी प्लस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री थ्री प्लस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री थ्री मैग्निफिकेशन इज पॉजिटिव इट इंडिकेट्स दैट द इमेज इज वर्चुअल एंड इरेक्ट विच इज थियोरेटिकली करेक्ट एज वी हैव सीन की कॉन्केव लेंसेज में इमेज हमेशा वर्चुअल एंड इरेक्ट आती है ऑल्सो 0.33 is less than वन That is magnification is less than वन मतलब image diminished बनी है Again it verifies theoretically क्योंकि हमने देखा था image हमेशा point size है या diminished है तो for more examples you can refer to our book of DNA education key point science class 10 जिसमें बहुत सारे numericals with detailed solutions explained हैं 
now the next topics comes power of lens as we have seen that lenses can converge or diverge the light rays ab koi bhi lens kisi light ray ko kitna converge ya kitna diverge kar sakta hai ye us lens ki power se pata chalta hai to power of lens is defined as the degree of convergence or divergence produced by a lens the formula for power of a lens is 1 upon focal length that means simply the reciprocal of the focal length of a lens is the power of that lens and the si unit of power is diopter so it is very clear that power of concave lens will be negative because the focal length of concave lens is negative similarly power of convex lens will be positive because focal length of convex lens is पॉजिटिव समटाइम्स हम बहुत सारे लेंसेज को कॉम्बिनेशन में यूज करते हैं जैसे कि टेलीस्कोप्स में यूजअली ऐसा होता है कुछ माइक्रोस्कोप्स में भी होता है बहुत सारे लेंसेज हम एक साथ यूज करते हैं तो इस केस में अगर हमें कंबाइंड सिस्टम की कंबाइंड पावर निकालनी हो तो उसका फॉर्मूला होता है इंडिविजुअल लेंसेज की जो पावर है उनका एरिथमेटिक सम दैट इज पावर ऑफ एन लेंसेज और पावर ऑफ अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एन लेंसेज इज पी वन प्लस पी टू प्लस पी थ्री सो ऑन अप टू पी एन सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दिस चैप्टर एंड फॉर मोर डिटेल्स यू कैन लॉग इन टू डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट डी एन ए एजुकेशन डॉट कॉम थैंक यू